Hello everyone. Today we're looking at one of these. This is a Motorola Timeport L7089 uh, or 7089. I don't normally do videos about phones this small, um, but I've been getting a few requests to do uh, um, a video about um, one of these, uh, particularly uh, th this particular time port. Um, Y'all might not know, but there's there's different time ports uh, that Motorola released uh, back in the day. Uh, as far as I know, this was the very first uh, tri-band that uh, Motorola introduced. Um, uh, by tri-band, I mean that uh, it operated on GSM 900, GSM 1800, and GSM 1900. Of course, the, the GSM 1900 is what was used in America, and uh, GSM 8, uh, sorry, GSM 900 and GSM 1800. Obviously, that's used um, pretty much everywhere else in the world nowadays. Uh, Europe, Africa, Middle East, Asia, Australia. There, there, there's GSM 900 and GSM 1800 networks pretty much everywhere outside of. Uh, the Americas. Uh, so what this phone allowed you to do was basically um, use your, your European phone in America um, with your with your same SIM card. And up until that point, when they released when they when they released this phone, that wasn't possible. You had to hire or rent a phone, uh, a cell phone when you when you went when you got to the states, when you got to the Americas, um, and that was cumbersome and expensive. So uh, this bridged the gap across the ocean, basically. Um, they they did these in uh, in in a, in a few different colors. Um, I I got um, uh, three different variants here: the the silver or, or the chrome, uh, the charcoal gray, and and what what I like to call the teal green. Um, and I got a few of these. There's uh, there's three more teal greens there, and I got um, got another silver one on charge here. So, um, but. Um, uh, th th these were monumental at the time. Certainly, I remember having one. In fact, um, I think my very one was one of those. It might have been this one, actually. I'm not even sure. Um, but um, I, I went through these like uh, like a kid with uh, with cupcakes. I mean, <laughs> um, I, I was using these everywhere I went back in the day. And these are still really good phones. Um, you know, they, they, they are quite basic, but they just work. This is the thing. Um, they, they, they're durable. I mean, certainly, you can... You can take one of these, and I'd be quite happy bending that like so. Um, not your iPhone, um, and, and that would still that would still work, obviously. So, um, given given the um, the durability of these, these are pretty tough. Um, certainly, the uh, they 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 can withstand uh, quite a bit of force. Um, the battery on this is, um, I think, it's a 3.6 or a 3.7. Um, I can't even see that. Yeah, that is a 3.6 um, lithium ion. Of course, um, the SIM card goes in here, um, like so. Um, in fact, I tell you what, why don't we just power one of these up? Might might be a good idea. Uh, got a couple of test SIM cards here, which um, I sometimes use. Um, in fact, well, you could use this one. This is a Sainsbury's one, uh, which is a. Uh, it's like your, your your not your department store but your grocery store. Yeah, the grocery stores in the U, in the UK um, that they, they're also making SIM cards now. Uh, you got you got uh, a whole bunch of supermarkets making um, putting out SIM cards. I can't get the SIM off that sticky tape. Let's use a different one. How about we use one of these here? Right. Um, let's use this one. This is actually my man Khalid's uh, phone. Uh, this one is uh, is a friend of mine uh, called Khalid. He he's out in uh, in uh, in Kuwait, uh, and this is actually his phone. Um, I got this because I'm unlocking it and, and stuff. So um, big up to him for uh, sending me out the phone, and uh, this is going to go back to him. So let's use his phone, and um, and I'll show you quickly the menu on this. Um, like I said, it is fairly basic. But it does actually work, um, and the the good thing about these phones was there was a, a, a quick access menu, um, and I'll show you that in a sec. When this powers up, you got the nice Motorola logo, um, and basically you got um, the up arrow, and what that allowed you to do was access a, a quick menu. Don't know if y'all can see that, but um, basically you could you could choose what you wanted um, in, 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 in this little quick access menu. So you'd scroll down um, 
and um, you, you, you'd pick. So say you didn't want one to be phone book, you wanted one to be, I don't know, change change frequency or, or change from GSM 1800 to GSM 1900. You could change that menu, um, and I, I know you can do it. There you go, it's picked up service now. Um, the sim menu, let's have a quick look where the options for that are. Presumably it's on the phone setup. I did this the other day actually. Um, and it, it's a real neat feature because it allows quite, here we go, it allows quite a good um, customization. So, uh, quick access setup. Okay. Um, actually, no, I didn't want that. Did I want that? Quick access setup. Maybe I did. Um, so, yeah. So, for example, number one is add entry to phone. Number two is add entry to SIM. So, for example, say I wanted number... I tell you what, let's change number let's change number six. So for example, say I wanted to not have find by name on, on number six, which as you know is the last one up here, just that book logo with the A and the B. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um if I wanted to change that to something else, I could go into the menu and um Go phone setup. Um, where is it? I just had it. Quick access, and I could change that. So view options, um, assign key to feature. Nope. Um, add or edit. Um, assign key. Well, maybe it's that actually. So, for example, oh, hang on. You need to do it the other way. So you find something you want, um, and then you. I think it is you assign key to yeah, so you assign key to feature, so you say you do like a number a, number eight, for example, you hit OK, and that is now option eight on that quick menu. Um it's a real neat feature. Um it is a bit fumbly to, to set up initially, but once it's set up, it's set up and you're good to go. Uh you can just literally there we go. So now we have that that little that little book symbol. Uh, I don't know if this will zoom. There we go, that little book symbol is on number eight. Um, and, and you got a whole bunch of these options. You got nine different ones, nine quick access. Um, real neat feature, actually. And um, you don't get that. You don't get that level of customization on on on. Uh, certainly not on smartphones. I mean, you can change the uh, the, the desktop on a smartphone to your heart's content. But uh, when these came out, these were state of the art, and uh, of course, uh, no other phone had that. So, but going through the menu, then real quick, um, access internet. Uh, e sim menu that's just part of the sim i ignore that so you got phone book uh, call related features uh, messages phone setup network selection call meters internet access uh, and that's it uh, you, you could access the internet um, with, with this phone um, albeit very slow so let's look at uh, network selection um, this is where you change the uh, the band so you change it from uh, GSM 900 to um, to GSM 1900 or, or it, the bands were the options were GSM 900 and GSM 1800 together automatic flick between the two or GSM 1900 for some reason they just set it up like that I guess um, maybe there was a regulation that, that made them do it that way. I'm not too sure, but this is where you change it. So you go change band, um, and then you get, obviously, the tick means, don't know if y'all can see that tick just there, um, the tick on the left. Will that zoom? The tick on the left just here um, says that, obviously, it's selected. So if you wanted to uh, select, change to, to GSM 1900, you'd click OK, select, change to 1900 and you'll notice now that it's not got any service with searching um, and it won't pick up the EE service uh, basically um, there you go uh, so let's quickly undo that um, in fact let's use the quick menu uh, there should be an option for that um, there we go number nine that's it change to GSM 18 so do you see what I mean with the with the with the quick access menu it's actually real nice to navigate you don't need to pit, press the menu button or, or sift through and, and it is literally up arrow and then you could also actually press number nine and that's it it'd be done you're done and it's a real nice way it's a real nice feature to navigate there we go it's picked up service um, so you're, you're, you're good to go obviously it's got a dedicated uh, 
um, voicemail voicemail button um, so um, you know that's what you use to, to check your voicemails and stuff this could receive uh, SMS as far as I know I think you could even send them um, not too sure about the sending there receive messages at going but yeah so it could send them there you go you go into message editor and you could uh, type your little 160 character uh, SMS and send it away um, nothing fancy about that uh, and of course this uh, this was GPRS compatible the very early um, very early um, data rates um, I would say is um, as GPS um, GPRS rather um, in terms of um, internet access anyway so um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this it's got obviously a couple of volume buttons and a select button there uh, I don't remember what that's for um, oh recording I didn't know you could do that it's got a record button there let's do that again recording so you could record three minutes uh, I'm guessing that was like a dictaphone feature that's pretty cool actually um, I kind of like that um, no doubt my man Khaled is going to be happy when I've got my voice on his phone but um, well, well you can obviously delete them and, and everything so uh, you got a little light there to say you're uh, you're in service obviously when you're not that goes red um, and um, that's pretty much it the uh, the antenna unscrews obviously you could uh, easily replace that and I'm guessing this is a tri-band antenna so uh, it was good to go for uh, for your international roaming if you're a jet set traveler back in the day this was your phone to have basically long before any smartphones or any other you know any other um, clever gadgets or gimmicks you know um, none of that touchscreen stuff this is this is way before I think these these came out they must have been what is it probably mid 90s I think um, I reckon these were mid to late 90s I think they came out. I'm not too sure of the date exactly but I'd, I like I said I had a few of these um, and um, I, I used these extensively. I remember carrying three of three of these around with all different SIM cards, all different providers from different countries because I was traveling a lot at the time. Um, and um, well worth having. Of course, nowadays um, these really uh, they're, they're they're obsolete, but they're still nice to use. And if you want something basic, um, uh, this is obviously one to consider. I don't know if you checked out the video about the uh, the what brick would you have. Um, maybe I should have included one of these because um, um, these are actually real neat phones so worth considering anyway um, um, I think these came out before the star tax of course um, got a couple of them here um, these are this is the UK orange version uh, and uh, actually this is another one of the same I thought I had a nice blue one here as well um, yeah so um, don't know if y'all can see that the, the one on my right is a, a little it's dark blue sort of thing um, and uh, the dark blues are real rare um, I got a silver one as well a chrome one got a couple of others I probably have like um, about 12 or 15 star tags started around somewhere um, and I think uh, as far as I know these um, these all still power on yeah so these power on um, I think the flat this this slim battery is no uh, not charged or no good but I do think this battery holds a little bit of juice Let's just quickly power these on yeah so both of these work um, and uh, I'm not even sure if these are unlocked so actually um, I may do a video about unlocking these um, next because um, this one's going out to someone else um, someone's someone's managed to convince me to sell them a star tag so um, I got a I gotta send one of mine out and obviously I've got to unlock them and change the lock code and security code on these before I send them out so I'll be doing that next I think if these are locked I'll have to check but uh, worth considering anyway um, is this still on yes um, but star tags are a nice phone as well but given the choice I'd probably go for one of these because uh, like I showed you earlier um, these are pretty solid um, and uh, quite durable so that's all I got to say about these. Um, the they did do different uh, different time ports. I think there's one that's slightly smaller. I think it's like the the 210 or the 220. Uh, I'm not too sure what the difference between that is and this because I never owned a 220. Um, I do have one somewhere. I think um, probably not in working condition though. Um, but um, certainly uh, the, these ones, the these ones, uh, certainly the silver ones. Uh, these were all badged up as orange. Obviously, um, they're um, they're um, they're branded up as orange, um, 
but uh, the charcoal ones, I think these are just generic GSMs. Um, I'm not even sure. Uh, will this power on? Should do. There we go, yeah. Um, so these ones are just generic GSMs, and obviously the teal ones. Um, I'm not even sure. I think this might have been the Vodafone one, because it's got some writing on the, on the screen. Um, could very well be this was my very one, actually. Um, one, of, one of the ones I used. Um, so the, the, the teal one, I think, are GSMs, and so is the charcoal. Um, the, the silver ones are definitely badged up as orange, which is uh, the UK provider. So um, I will just quickly check that uh, this will take another SIM card. Um, just to make sure that um, my man Khalid can use his Kuwaiti SIM out uh, in Kuwait. Um, so otherwise, he ain't going to be a happy bunny. So... Um, let me see what other SIM cards I got out here. Uh, these are all orange. Uh, maybe I do need to use this as a as a test SIM card. Um, I'm kind of a little worried that I'm going to rip this thing off, but hey ho. Right, so slot this bad boy in there, um, and this should pick up Vodafone because um, I know Sainsbury's in the UK. They, um, they're a virtual provider and, and they use the Vodafone cellular network. Uh, so with a bit of luck, that won't ask me to enter a special code. Well, if it does, I can always unlock it. It's not a problem, but I thought I did this already. Just check um, that this guy's uh, happy. And um, make sure it's all working. So, you get the the logo, the tri-band logo, um, and it's searching, oh, it says Sainsbury's, so yeah, I mean, it's picked up service, don't know if y'all can see that, just there, will this zoom right in, there we go, it's picked up service, it displays the time now, will this, will this work, there we go, um, so yeah, so we're good to go, obviously, um, and, uh, and I know it, it I know this does, um, this does definitely use Vodafone because on Vodafone you got the star hash or star pound codes. So star pound 100, um, I think displays the number. Uh, star pound 1345 displays your balance because this is a prepay f SIM card. Uh, so yeah, if this displays the balance, then this is definitely running on Vodafone because you can't use these star, star pound codes on any other cellular network in the UK. Um, for some reason that's taking its time though. Oh, there we go. So yeah, so uh, your mobile by Sainsbury's credit is uh, 9.98 by the looks of it. So we're good to go. This is fully unlocked and uh, ready for use. Uh, so uh, my man Khaled out in Kuwait is going to be happy, um, definitely. So that's all I got to say about these particular phones. Um, I'm going to probably try and do a, a video about the StarTax next. So um, I had a few people ask me uh, what kind of StarTax I got. Uh, so so like, like the StarTax range, th th they're not really vintage uh, in my opinion because obviously um, th 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 they're not bricks. Um, and I know this isn't really a brick either, but uh, this was legendary because I think, as far as I know, these were the very first tri-band phones that Motorola did. In fact... I don't even. I might even be right in saying that these were the first tri-band phones they ever did. Um, uh, I do. I do know um, Nokia did some tri-band handsets, but I think this one was first to market. Uh, don't quote me on that. I will have to check. But um, as far as I know, that is the case. Um, pop me a comment in the in the in the description below if you know different, obviously. Um, and um, I'll uh, I'll stand corrected because uh, I'm not too sure about these. But uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, check out some of the other uh, videos uh, that I got on here, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the phone or the video. And uh, don't f uh, don't forget to uh, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.